afternoon, good morning, and welcome. Hello. So thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Hey Red, Red Wolf, how are you doing? How are you doing this full moon? Okay, so it's Wild on Wednesday. Welcome. Hello. Hello, Star Child Kundalini. How are you doing? Mention Judy. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody today? So I hope the sound's okay because there's been sound issues over the last few weeks with either me or Periscope, I don't know which one, but anyway. Um, I hope you can hear, so if you can hear, just let me know or I will restart. Good rising. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. Thanks for the hearts, my love. So we're going to do um, a quick meditation relaxation today, just for observation, really, and observing the body and observing the breath. Um, and if you don't know me, my name is Indra. My um, website is silent-moon.co.uk. And every Wednesday, I do a Wild Woman Wednesday meditation at 2.30 UK time. Sometimes it's half an hour, sometimes it's 20 minutes, sometimes it's just a, a five-minute meditation. My... My uh, background is one of um, yoga that I've done for many, many years. Um, I also create wonderful healing products with the moonlight, so I work with the moon energy and the nature kingdom. So you can also catch me at the imaginarium.love as well. So I'm going to go through this, um, this observation meditation. We're going to make it quite quick today um, because the time of year is very busy externally, but internally with the season and our croniness and our winter time coming internally, we're quite quiet. Or if we follow nature, then we're quiet. So there's like a paradox going on around us. It's, it's, it's really busy outside of us and internally we just want to go inwards. So it's really important when life is like this that we take the time just to step inward and give ourselves permission to have a look at what's going on. Hello, Julie. Um, just give ourselves permission to look inside, even if we're doing mad Christmas shopping and parties and everything else, just to give ourselves a little bit of time every day. Good morning, darling. Um, every single day, and I really do mean every single day, um, so that we don't kind of go off on some trail somewhere else. It's really important, especially this time of year, to step inward. Um, so if you do, like me, follow the moon energy, follow the seasons, um, you may notice at this point in time that you want to get quiet and that you want to get still, um, but it's quite hard to do so. So I'm going to do this observation practice with you um, right now. Um, I won't be answering any questions just because it allows me to step into that space of working with you and doing the meditation. And also, um, although it's, it, may, it may sound rude, if you're not doing the meditation and you're hanging around, you can just put up Indra won't be answering any comments, just so that it doesn't look too rude to somebody who comes in and says hello. So if you can bring yourself into a place of stillness, whether that's sitting or whether that's lying down, then that's absolutely fine and wonderful. If you're in a space of quietness, that's even better. Um, but sometimes it's really good to actually work with sound that's around you. So if you live around sound um, and you live around a little bit of noise, sometimes we just have to get used to those distractions in our lives. Because unless we live in a cave or up a mountain, it's very difficult to get away from, from sound around us. So instead of fighting the sound, try and work with the sound that's around you. And believe me, I have been, I have had 14, 15 months now working around workmen um, who have been building flats behind my space that I live. And it's not an easy thing to live with. Um, so I totally empathize with people who are going through that because it's quite painful. Sound pollution is, is difficult sometimes for people who want to be at peace and who want to have their stillness. So sometimes it just means stepping out the door. Sometimes it means going to the, to the beach, to the woods, wherever you live, and just finding that space every day, every single day to be quiet. So I'd like you to just draw a deep breath in. If you're watching the replay, also welcome. Take a deep breath into your belly and just allow your belly to expand and grow like a big balloon. And as you breathe out, we'll let go of the sigh and we'll let everything and anything drop that needs to be released with this full moon energy in Gemini right now. <sighs> Breathing in once more. 
bringing ourselves into the present moment, feeling the belly expanding and growing, and as you breathe out, let go, releasing anything and everything that needs to be released, released with this full moon energy. And then let's do one more. Let's do one more for the future. Let's do one more for bringing our new moon intentions when they come along into fruition. So drawing in the energy of what's coming and then breathing out and then letting go of anything that you would like to release this Gemini full moon. And with Gemini being, a, being an air sign and being with a, a sign that it is corresponding with the arms and the hands, we're going to use the hands today and we're going to rest the hands on the belly. So if you can bring the palms of your hands onto the center of your body with just the middle fingers touching. So there's no tension in your hands. The hands are completely relaxed, but the palms are resting on the belly. Have your middle fingers touching, but remember no tension, no pain, just totally relaxed. Whether you're sitting or whether you're lying down, just bring the palms of the hands relaxed onto the center of your body. Breathe in deeply, and breathe out long and slow. Now I invite you to, if you can, breathe through the nostrils. If you're, if you're into yoga or you practice yoga or a yoga teacher, you'll be used to that. Not everybody can breathe through the nose. So I invite you to try to, because what it allows you to do is bring a deep prana, a deep prana on the in-breath into the body. And that's just another word for life force. And it also allows you on the out-breath to relax completely. But if you find it difficult, obviously breathe through the mouth if it's too hard to breathe through the nose. But I'm going to work with the nose breath. So keeping the hands on the belly, take a deep breath into your centre. And I'd like you to feel the coolness of your in-breath as it enters through the nostrils, down into your belly. And notice as you allow your belly to expand, notice that your middle fingers naturally come apart. And as you breathe out and you allow the center to relax, breathing out through the nose, feel the warmth of the out breath as you release the breath. And watch how the middle fingers naturally come back together. Breathing in. Feel the coolness of the in-breath as it enters the body and how the body expands and grows. And the middle fingers naturally come apart. And as you breathe out and the center of your body relaxes and the palms relax, notice how the middle fingers naturally come back together. And the warmth of the out-breath leaves you. Take a deep in-breath and a long, slow out-breath. Feel the coolness of the air as it enters your body. And notice that space between the fingertips. And as you breathe out, feel the warmth of the out-breath as it leaves the body and the body relaxes completely. You may start to notice that now you've brought some attention to your breath and awareness to your breath. But just by doing this simple practice, your mind naturally begins to slow down. The mind can't move fast when the breath is slow. So I'd like to give you a few moments in silence and what I'd like to do is you take this breath with your hands on your belly. is try to make that space between your fingertips on every in-breath just that little bit bigger without moving the hands, keeping them where they are. But this just means deepening your in-breath, which means you'll take in more prana, it's more life force, and you'll revitalize all your internal organs, your blood cells, your bones, your ligaments. Everything will become revitalized. Do this without any force or any tension. And if you find at all that you start to get lightheaded, don't go there. Just reduce the breath very slightly 
until you get used to this kind of breathing. It takes practice. So take a few moments now in silence, breathing in deeply, expanding the belly and watching and seeing if you can create that larger space between your fingers without moving the fingers. Feel the lightness that comes as you breathe in. And feel the depth that comes, the emptying that comes, the connection that comes as you breathe out. You'll feel that your connection deepens with the earth beneath you as you breathe out. And as you breathe in, you'll feel that lightness as if you're lifting up off the floor. So I invite you now, as the observer, as the witness, keeping your hands where they are, just to recognize, scan how you feel. Don't judge yourself. Don't bring in any thought, just watch, scan your body, notice, recognize. Allow it to be like a wave, that observation. Just awareness, just observation, no attachment. Recognize if you feel different now compared to how you felt five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago before you turned on Periscope. And then just allow your hands to relax. Take them away from your center Open your eyes slowly and bring yourself back to where you are. So there's no doubt now there will be a difference in your body. There will be a difference in your mind, if not both. So again, I invite you to, in this, in this time, where the outside world is very fast and the internal world is going into winter and wants to be quiet. To achieve that, I invite you every day to take that five minutes just to step away and use that practice just to find your breath. And I can't imagine that any of you who have done that from the beginning, and remember you can do it for as long as you can, as long as you want to do it, that your mind is moving faster than it was before you came onto the scope. And if it is, then you just need to take that a little bit longer because it's a very good way of slowing down the mind. Because like I say, the mind can't move fast when the breath is slow. So if anybody wants to share how they feel when they came on at the beginning, share how they, if, 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 they were, if you've been on since the beginning and just share how you feel. I use that practice with addiction. I use that practice with people who, who suffer from alcoholism, suffer from addiction, suffer from self-harm. And I used it in my, in my class with them this morning. Um, and we did it for 40 minutes. If you've got that time and that space, and that's wonderful. But we don't always have that time and space if we've got a busy life and children and have to work and la la la. So take just five minutes a day don't give yourself a hard time and, and, and say, I have to do 40 minutes a day. Just give yourself five minutes. And then the next day, six, seven, whatever you can do, a little bit more. And you'll find that it will bring space, not only internally, but it will bring space in the mind. It will create space between your thoughts. And it will also create space between you and the outside world. So thank you for joining me. 
Um, I will also put this on Silent Moon Imaginarium on my YouTube channel. If you haven't got your six magical moon rituals, then please do check them out at the imaginarium.love. This is the perfect time to to get them to get them out there because uh, this this is the time where um, the full moon time where it's a great time to let go and to release, especially as it's the last full moon of this year. So everybody, thanks, Joel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for turning up and thank you for sharing. And I think Melissa did there as well. So thank you. Everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful Wild Woman Wednesday. And I will see you all later in the week. Take care. Lots and lots of love.